We call them the masters of motivation. They are the inventors of the momentum score. And if they won't keep you on track, chances are high no one will. Please watch the video of Quantifile. I was extremely impressed with um, the amount of feedback you got and the amount of feedback you actually took on board. I think that's, that to me is truly unique about your startup. Yeah, there's a lot of applications that are on the market that try to um, try to motivate you through statistics and analysis and data. And I don't know if those sites, but for, for me they're not particularly useful because I can do all that when I'm with you. I can do that very specifically. One of that understood the concept of soft touch motivation, I mean, and in particular how, how important that is when you're not with me, when I'm not doing the data analysis, and I haven't actually found a product or an application that has ever done that. So insurance industry is obsessed with the data and everyone will say um, insurers want more data, they like data and no one's really nailed it and why I think Quantify will bring something really different is you're not about the data, you're about the behaviours um, and changing the behaviours um, and I really think that that's, the opportunity is there. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hi, my name is Philippe. I'm co-founder of Quantifile. Quantifile is a well-being app that motivates people to recover faster. But first, let me tell you our story. Once upon a time, there was a former head of underwriting at AIG with a recovering liver from the abuse of the London insurance market and a newfound passion for well-being. I met Dele, a former head of digital marketing at Diageo NBAT. He had a recovering conscience from his career in advertising and a newfound passion for data privacy. We immediately saw the opportunity to combine our insurance and digital skills to create a, dig a disruptive startup. We had a simple vision with a grand ambition, which was to nudge people to live a healthier lifestyle while reducing healthcare costs. Now, we knew that would be a hard nut to crack, and we struggled. Our initial assumptions didn't hold up, but we persisted. We went back to the drawing board, we iterated, we had more than 150 meetings with insurers and end users to understand their pain and their needs. We learned a few things along the way. Let me share with you a few secrets. First of all, the insurance, especially in health and life, they use the premium of the healthy to pay for the unhealthy. If you get more data, the insurer is only going to get a clearer picture of that, not necessarily cheaper premiums. And while it's very difficult for somebody unhealthy to become healthy, his individual behavior is unlikely going to impact his premium. However, there's an area where there is a direct impact, and that's on the claim side, especially when insurers have to pay for the income until that person gets back to work. So, and that's what we call income protection insurance. So we decided to meet the uh, in claims manager at an income protection. What she told us is that motivation is key in rehabilitation. And she introduced us to Lucy. Lucy has been signed off work, sick, her income protection insurer is paying out, and she's been introduced to rehabilitation service. The key for Lucy is there's a risk. If Lucy does not get back to work within six months, her odds of getting back to work at all will reduce from 50% down to 10% in two years. There, however, there's good news. Forever, 
one pound insurers invest in rehabilitation, they will save five pounds. And that's not including the savings for society as a whole. So we wanted to know how big this market was. We met with the Associated British Insurers. They told us that currently, the UK market for income protection pays out 450 million pounds each year in claims. And what's really interesting is that this insurance should be sold much more because of these services, rehabilitation services, which they reduced the time off work sick by 17%. Now we thought we can double that and earn, by the way, a performance fee of five million pounds while still keeping an eye on the total addressable market for behavioral change platform in the US of $6 billion. Why can we, we can do that? We can do that because motivation is the key in rehabilitation and it's very hard to track. That's why we created the Momentum Score. The Momentum Score is a simple tool which combines intent and behavior in a way that you can safely share with your rehabilitation team to receive the support when you need it most. It works a little bit like uh, your LinkedIn completion profile score, which uses motivational psychology to push you to complete it and keep it up to date. It connects with your wearable data. It's complementary to the rehabilitation services that are provided. And fitness apps are our friends. How does it work? Lucy will be referred to the application by her insurer or her rehabilitation team. Once on the screen, she will receive motivational content, in this case, a video, which will call to her to action that has been determined by her therapist, in this case, to do a 30-minute walk three times this week. She can decide to invite someone on her walk with her. As she completes the walk, her momentum score will rise, and this will be shared with her therapist, who will give her encouragement and rewards or support if needed. Now, the insurer and Lucy can be assured that if her momentum score remains in the green, she will recover in the optimum time frame. Yes, there is an explosion of fitness and health apps. However, the sharing of wearable data is very new and sensitive, mostly because mo most of these, Apple, these fitness apps have been created to sell more devices or sell the data of that person which is uh, the purpose is conflicting with the idea of sharing and receiving support. That's where Quantifile is different. Our purpose is to use data to motivate positive behavior change because we believe the step that counts the most is the first. The next step will be to plug our momentum score into our motivational engine so we can create rich behavioral database and push smart nudges to Lucy so her momentum can keep on rising. We will not stop there. We will take rehabilitation as just a start. We will make early intervention, bring it into corporate wellness. We will sell smart insurance products. And eventually, we will plug our platform onto social impact bonds to impact health at scale. Since January, we found our niche. We have a prototype. And we have a pilot with a leading rehabilitation clinic in Chelsea. We have an amazing team, including uh, Christian, our behavior wizard, and Marcio, our ninja coder. We have great mentors, including Jonathan Lomax and uh, Thomas Karina from Swiss Re. And we'd like to thank everybody else who's helped us along the way. We currently have, we're currently closing our friends and family round of 180,000 pounds. We already have 100,000 committed. So if, like others, you believe you share our vision of the future of well-being, please come talk to us in our pod. We're a quantifile, and we'll get you back on track.